And today, we're gonna do some trout fishing. We're gonna try to power bait first, and then after that, we'll try the peas. And I bought peas. We're gonna try this out, see if it works. I'm sure it'll work, because uh, the trout, they eat pretty much anything that drops down there. Warm, uh, metal, plastic, uh, power bait, gulp, corn. So I'm sure it'll work, but let's see how we do. Uh, here you can keep three trout and um it's good for dinner uh you can steam them you can fry them throw them on the pan they're delicious it's 84 degrees out here nice little wind breeze going on here so not too sweaty but let's see how we do it man it's gonna be fun all right guys in case you guys are wondering i brought my special rod today for trout fishing my ice fishing rod with my 13 ice fishing reel i have on six pound braid line here and my leader is a six pound fluorocarbon leader. And then I have a drop style rig. So I pretty much have like a micro hook here. I don't know if you guys see here. It might not focus for you guys, but a little tiny itty bitty hook. And it's pretty much just a drop shot rig. And I have a drop shot weight here. It's a faster way for the, for the bait to get down there quicker. And it's a more of a finesse approach and to me, it works better for me, but other people, they do, you could definitely do bobbers, floaters, you know. You could do floater, uh, you can just throw a split shot at the end with a hook. It'll be fine. We'll try the, the peas, but first, I'm gonna try power bait. And I have power bait here. Boom. So, so basically, all you do is just, yeah, you could buy these at Fleet Farm, Cabela's, Walmart. Some Walmart might have it. Some might not, might not. It, uh, yeah, it looks like a little marshmallow, a little colorful marshmallow. I don't recommend eating this. I'm pretty damn sure you can get sick off of this. So what you do is just pinch a little, you know, a nice brown piece. You can pinch a little bit of it, and you know, with that hook, you can kind of just sink this hook like, into the material here, and just kind of. It's kind of almost like sponge play-doh. It's, it's like th those little things, those little squishy that kids play nowadays. They call it squishy, I believe. And so you just pat it real good, like that, right here. And it just looks like a corn, right? So you can definitely try corn, and I don't see why peas would not work, but we'll try that once we catch one off of the power bait. And I have uh, like a good foot or so, or two foot or so liter. It doesn't really matter. And just a little way at the end. And just drop right on your feet, you know? Not down here, but you know. Well, what do you know? I caught three trout. When I don't bring the camera, I catch fish. But gotta go back and catch a few more for you guys to see. We'll just be catching release. Otherwise, I think my dad's over there. I can buy fishing for him. But I got my limit for the day: three trouts um, on the power bait. That was pretty fun. It was pretty quick. It was limited in 15 minutes. But I'm gonna go back to the dock and see if I can catch a few for my dad and a few a few for you guys to see. They're more towards the bottom, basically. I switched technique. I put on a split shot and uh, just on the leader and then the hook at the end and then just glue that bait power bait on and they took it real quick. What's that? Right oh, yeah, I don't know if there's a bait store over there but I know you can get these at Farm and Fleet right. or Fleet Farm. Yeah, it's a little bait store but they got everything in. All right, pay you $27. That's true. Got another one. Oh, you got one. <laughs> Look at that. They're biting real good, guys. He swallowed it. Good? Yep, swallowed it. So you're gonna have to keep it, buddy. Keep on. Oh, 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 we accomplished our mission. We caught three trout. These are my dad's, but mine's no, are in the car. But he's done. we're done for the day. So until next time, man. It was fun using the power bait.
using this super tiny hook. Even the camera can't even capture it. Right there. I'm good to my my friend here. Here, I'll give you my hook to hook that. I caught all three of them. A super small hook. Whoa! You got to use that and then bury the bury that hook. Oh, and oh, with a uh, power bait. I could change. Not... So, try that. See if it works. And then put put on that split shot again, okay? Okay. And see if you catch them. Oh, and lose lose this thing because this this spooks them out. They get they get scared. Oh, yeah, take that off. Yeah, take it. Just just put on the hook. So, yeah. oh, I don't want to oh, it almost got me ears pierced. Almost hey, pierced my ear. Oh cool, man, I had to look at the other side. <laughs> Alright guys, that was fun, man. We I got here like a two with my father-in-law and my dad. They wanted to do crappie fishing and they they were slow at first. They caught one each, but this bird tried to attack me. But they weren't catching any crappies after that, so uh, the bite was slow. It was, I think it was because it was too windy, and so the bite was really slow for the crappies. And then I came to the side where I fell in the water, and I caught five crappies there. But I didn't record because it was too windy, and I just I fished it for like 15 minutes, and then went back to the dock. Uh, so, but on the other side, I saw a lot of bass bedding, and I saw a three-pounder, a two-pounder. I was gonna go back, but. I thought I'd go back for the trout for you guys to see. I wanted to get it on footage for you guys to see for the trout fishing, so that's why I went back with the power bait and with the, uh, um, instead of using the uh, ice fishing rod, I used my uh, ultralight rod that was able to cast further and it was a whole lot more sensitive. So that's how I caught them. They were really, the bite was really soft today. It wasn't like last week when I came and the bite was just easy, but today, it's a whole lot different. I mean, this is how fishing is. You never know how it's gonna be. It could be good, it could be bad, it could be slow, it could be really fun, or you can just fall into water like how I did last time. So until next time, uh I'll catch you guys later. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully that helped out. Try out that power bait. It doesn't have to be that color, it could be any color. I bought that color because that was the only color they had at Fleet Farm. But be sure to try it. You never know. If you're new to fishing, it's good to uh bring the kids out, the family out. The wife the girlfriend you know and just you know teach someone how to fish or learn how to fish you know it's it's fun it's just it's a good stress reliever and i'm sure you'll enjoy it so uh teach other teach yourself and enjoy and just have go out and have a good time you know you never know what's going to happen you never know what's going to catch so until next time you guys find a reason not an excuse fish i forgot to mention guys uh here in wisconsin you gotta make sure uh, I don't know about other places, but I know here in, in the state of Wisconsin, you gotta make sure you have a trout stand, an inland trout stand. You gotta have that to keep any trout, or you know, to, to harvest any trout or salmon. All right, you gotta have that stamp along with your fishing license. Uh, I believe it's about 10 bucks or five bucks for the trout stamp. Um, there's two, two stamp, I believe. There's one for the Great Lakes and one for the inland, meaning ponds and river. So uh, check the regulation first. I went and purchased the trout stamp and so that way I can uh, harvest or take any trout home. So I, the limit for here at this location is three. I'm not sure about, about other places. I'm pretty sure it's just three of them, but check that before you uh, keep any trout, all right? You can catch and release, but you can't take them if you don't have any stamp. My dad, he's, it's his turn on the log on the tree. <laughs> this is where I fell, guys. It's pretty steep. The water, water got a whole lot lower, but where I fell. This is probably like six feet right here. It's pretty deep. It's no joke, guys. Did you catch any more? Uh, two over here. Oh, we caught two? Damn. Did you use the, the one jig I gave you? Yep. I'll <laughs> stand one, though. Yeah. Place another one. Yeah. Caught a turtle, too. You caught a turtle? <laughs> <laughs> oh! My dad caught the bluegill. That was a bluegill ninja. Here's a lot of shadow fish. We, I call it the shadow fish because they're hiding on the, under all these stumps. They hide in the darkness, you know, like ninjas in, in the shadows. So that's how you catch them because they're spawning, they're, they're feeding, they're ambushing bait, bait fish, little fish, little bluegills and stuff like that. So that's how, that's how we catch them here. But yeah. We got a good amount. Probably eight, eight of them. Yep, not bad. Still dead. Not bad. Cool. The turtle ate two of them. Oh, the, tur <laughs> the turtle ate two of them. Yep. Yeah. They put on the strain and the turtle ate two of them. Sad life.
guy on the kayak, man. That's why I need to bring the kayak so I can fish the whole quarry. You know what I'm saying? Check out the fish. Oh yeah. Three trouts, one crappie, all seasoning. Steam fish here, you guys. That's how you get your omega-3. Me and Silas and the wife is about to clean this up. It's delicious. Mm -hmm.